we know that the B1617 is very transmissible, but is it more deadly? While a lot of cases are certainly mild or even asymptomatic, um, there remains a small proportion of individuals who will develop more severe disease and or even die from that disease. That's why we have to still continue with the measures that we have taken to try to reduce the number of infections. Because it's, it is a probability, because the larger number of people that you have infected, the chances of actually winning that lottery and becoming a severe case is actually very high. Estimates put the B1617 variant at a whopping 225% more infectious compared to the original COVID-19 strain responsible for Singapore's circuit breaker in 2020. So if you were to do the math, every infected individual with the B1617 strain would infect 8 others, compared to just 2.5 others if the same person is infected with the original COVID-19 strain. Is the B1617 making contact tracing more of a challenge? Well, it certainly is making contact tracing more challenging because if the virus spreads to more people um, quicker, then we have then got more cases to have to deal with. And we also have to ring fence very widely to ensure that there's no leaks from the contact tracing rings. So we really need the public to be on our side to use, for example, the Trace Together app to do their safe entry when they enter different venues and also to see a doctor when they have symptoms so that we can identify those cases early and do the contact tracing early. I've also read reports that the B1617 is so infectious that it can actually penetrate masks as well as PPE, personal protective equipment suits. Is there any truth to that? The answer is no. If you wear your mask properly, it will be fairly protective in the public space. And the other thing is that there are some paper masks which are basically not even tree ply. And so it's very important to make sure you get the right surgical mask. At this point, uh, we don't have any evidence to suggest that this particular virus is any different from the other earlier COVID strains in terms of making masks or other uh, measures less effective. So, so these still continue to be extremely effective at preventing the spread of disease. Singapore is on top of the list for countries infected by the B1617. How did this happen? We've had to remain partially open to the world. We haven't been able to take the same strategy as places like Australia and New Zealand uh, because we, we are dependent for a number of reasons on all kinds of things from around the world, including people. And so we've been exposed and we've had to maintain a certain level of risk in terms of maintaining that exposure. So simply put, we haven't been able to close our doors completely. And so the virus gets in.